Hi, the purpose of the video today is to review the Ugly Stick Catfish Spinning Rod. And the version that we like is the one that's 8 feet long. It's got a medium heavy rating to work with 15 to 30 pound line. There is a Redeemer, Jesus God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah. Holy one. Okay, so in this video, we'll talk about in some detail why we like the Ugly Stick Catfish Rod. We've owned four to six of them over the years. They're very nice rods. They last a long time. They're good on big fish. Uh, so we like them. But I want to encourage everybody to pray because the Bible says that some trust in horses and some trust in chariots. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. So we want to be reaching out to God and trusting in the Lord more than in our equipment. Uh, even though we like good equipment that does the job and lasts a long time. So here you see the angler reeling in about a 20 pound black drum. And we've caught lots of uh, black drum and redfish. Up to 20 or 30 pounds on these ugly stick catfish rods. Uh, they also do a real good job on freshwater catfish and gar uh, up to about 20 pounds. Uh, not that they wouldn't work with bigger fish, but uh, most of the fish we catch are smaller than 20 or 30 pounds. So that's where most of our experience is. Uh, most of the ugly stick catfish rods that we've owned, have, well all of them, have lasted at least 7 to 10 years. Uh, but then they do a break at some point. You know, the Ugly Stick has that seven-year warranty, and we've never had one fail yet within the warranty period. Uh, we like to use them with braided line, and even though the markings on it only suggest it's good with line up to about 30 pounds, uh, we do fine with Power Pro. For, some are spilled with 40 pounds, some are spilled with 65 pounds. Uh, the heavier line has never been a problem. The markings on the rod suggest that it's good with a bait of one half ounce to three ounces. And we've noticed that's on the conservative side. A lot of times we're fishing with a four ounce sinker to hold the bottom in a strong tidal condition uh, with a half of a crab on there. So that's a probably a total weight close to six ounces. And it still has good casting distance with that much weight, although if you keep the total weight close to three ounces, it will cast a little farther. But our applications really aren't uh, intensive on the casting distance, uh, and you lose some casting distance once your total weight out there is over about uh, four ounces. Uh, but if you can fling it out there, it'll work with a six ounce pyramid sinker and a two ounce uh, piece of crab, so it's pretty effective. Another thing I want to mention is that the uh, the catfish rods that we've bought in the last couple of years have more flexible tips, and they're really not our favorites. They also don't seem to be as well made. But for a thirty dollar rod, and it's about what they cost at Walmart and Academy, it's a very high quality rod for thirty dollars. In the future, I think we're going to be transitioning to. The Ugly Stick Big Water Series rods and the Ugly Stick Tiger rods. Now those rods are more expensive. They cost $60 or $70, uh, but they have more backbone, are better for bigger fish, and we've never had a rod in the Ugly Stick Big Water Series fail. And some of those rods have lasted about uh, 14 years. Even though they're more expensive, we believe the Ugly Stick Big Water Series are a better value because they last a lot longer. I tremble at the thought of judgment day. Lord, I am not ready. Please don't return. Just yet for all my sins are and put away. My cross is on the floor and I would burn. 